started. Hopefully my stream should have started now. I'm a little bit early today, so I thought I'll play a few games of Bullet before the Daily Super Blitz Arena, which is what I've really come to play. It's just two or three games just to get started. Okay, 1752, good luck, just boost the sound up. Not a good idea to give your opponent five seconds head start in bullet, but not to worry. I'll just take and develop. Uh, where do I want to go? Let's um, play up hit the rook. Let's, uh, actually, let's play what, queen up rook across. Do I take there? I think I will, you know, I'll sack the um the queen. Just for the fun of it, just for something different. Okay. Hit the queen, knight's guarded. Okay, he doesn't see that I was hitting the queen. So now we threaten to grab the knight. If he stick, keeps the bishop on the diagonal, he's avoiding the mate threat. Okay, grab the pawn. Okay, pin the knight. Mm. Where? I'm going to bring the bishop round. I think the knight's still pinned yet. He was out of time. I was aware of that. <coughs> okay, 188. Good luck. Again, you can say it's another quick player. Castle there, I think. Okay, I'll take and uh, just bring the bishop around. Okay, I'll take and rook across. Um, guess I'll push down support. Might actually be losing a pawn, not to worry if it is, it is. Indirectly pin the rook there. Maybe you can try still grab the pawn. You can now. Um, do I take? Do I take? No, I don't. Okay, now he's left his rook pinned. He can't actually take back. That should be good enough to win. He's just missed the fact that he moved his knight, of course. So that's good enough. He's a bit unlucky there. I'll play one more game, maybe two, then I'll get into the Super Blitz, which is what I've really come for. Game 2085, good luck. Mm, let's take the... Yeah, let's just play up. Try and get castled if we can. Bishop up there, I was aware of that. Um, I'll definitely trade there. I'll 
Oh, he doesn't play off. Let's just get rid of the queen then. Okay, just didn't see it. Excellent. Very good, very good. Very easy to miss things in bullet chess. Doesn't matter who you are and what level you play at. Okay, what have we got under five minutes to go? I might do a couple of puzzles here and then I'll join into the super blitz. Okay, instinctively I'm just looking at knight up to hit the bishop and hit the knight. So knight up. Is knight playable? Taken? No, it's covered. Knight back is covered. Take, takes. I don't see anything better than knight up. <coughs> but does knight up allow him to escape? Take, pawn takes. It still looks good. I might be wrong with this. I don't want to take too long on them. Yeah, it failed, so you see what the solution was. You just drop back. Okay, fair enough. So clearly you can grab a knight with check. So king up. Surely you must take that if it's a free knight. Potentially you can go this way. And then you can go this way. So rook takes, king down. Then what? Bishop back somewhere. Uh, let's take. Oh, it was the bishop maybe, was it? It was. Yeah, okay. Again, you can really take a lot of time doing these if you want to. I don't tend to. I tend to just use a... Play them a bit like a blitz game and just take a few seconds here and there. Okay, so what have we got here? Obviously, if you take, take. Can you just play up and then threaten check? Can you play rook up anywhere? Rook up. If knight take, you take the queen. If you take the queen, there's a check threat. And then take, which is checkmate. I've got a feeling you take the queen and then rook up, but I might be wrong. Excellent. Actually got one right. That's always good when you get a tactic right. Let's just um, move my box out of the way there. <coughs> have I got time? What have we got left? Oh, by the way, guys, if you want to play in this tournament yourself, if you just go to Lead Chess and go to the Play menu, pick Arena Tournaments, it brings them up and it should display them in whatever your own time zone is for where you are in the world. You can see what tournaments are coming up. And the one I normally play in is this one, the Daily Super Blitz Arena. Two minutes to go, so I will join that. You can see my starting rating is 2098. So if my rating is anywhere around that at the end of it, I'll be very pleased. It's always very difficult in these events to score better than 50% or to gain rating points. And of course, if you get a, an unlucky run of the draw, say you happen to play all these top 10 players in the same event, you can easily lose all 10 games and you can lose quite a bit of rating points. Or, of course, you can play a few much lower rated players and play badly and lose some points, and you lose an awful lot more points. It's a lot easier to lose rating points and gain them. And you can see if we go right down to the, the bottom end, we have you know, players of any rating ability can play in these events, from complete novices up to those really just learning the game, those just starting out very youngsters or people literally just starting. You can play, obviously, right up to... Top Grandmasters can play them if they want, so it's open to everybody. So we've got, what, less than a minute to go? <coughs> yeah, you can see I'm working my way down now as more stronger players come in. And in your first game, you play somebody who's immediately next to you in the rating list, one of one above or one below. After that, it's a case of whoever finishes at the same time and is then obviously paired up with whoever's available. Right, good luck everybody. Let's hope we all have a good arena. My ten, is still not recovered, nine, so I'm going to aim to eight, play at least 10 games. Seven, so I'll play it all six, if I feel okay, but... Five. Four, just depends three, how comfortable I am as two, I get on. One, zero. Right, 2086, good luck. Um, I think I'll play a Sicilian instead of a Karakhan. 
Okay, and straight away I've got a gambit line. I'd rather play a gambit line than face one to be fair. Let's just take the knight. Um, actually, let's develop first. Okay, he's surely not going queen side, he doesn't. So do I want to take, do I want to push? Mm, I'm just going to play a knight across, I think. I'd, I'd rather trade bishop for bishop, so he moves down. So I'll drop it back. Maybe I might play a knight in, if he doesn't trade, excuse me. <coughs> yeah, it goes back, so I'm going to play a knight in and trade one of these pieces off. So I'll get rid of the knight. Okay, I think bishop up and look to get rid of that bishop. He can maybe try and keep it on the board, he doesn't. Now, can I unwind? I think potentially develop the bishop, but obviously this pawn's a weakness now. So because I didn't play an early d5, this pawn could be just lost. Um, can I go after that one? Give up a pawn to try and get a pawn? Hmm. Yeah, let's try and bring the bishop forward, maybe. No. Let's develop the queen, because there's a potential threat here. Queen across. Maybe queen back and try and target the pawn. Yeah, rook up, so... Queen back threatens to grab the pawn. Okay, he goes forward. So queen up threatens mate. Not really threatening much else. I've got knight up and round as a nice threat. Oh, have I got knight up to hit the pawn? Then to go here, but his knight covers it, doesn't it? Let's just play a queen up and then maybe knight up. I'm getting really boxed in, though, aren't I? I'm really hemmed down here, so... Not easy to see how to break out. Take, take. I'm going to play up and hit this pawn. Obviously this is going to come at some point, and then if it pushes again I could be in a lot of trouble. So do I go pawn grabbing? I think I will. But this is obviously going to come... Oh, he goes that way. Okay. So pawn up, let him push me back. No, I'm going to drop the knight back straight away and maybe across, or maybe even this way, and up to tread. This is the move I'm really concerned about, of course. Yeah, he ignores it, so I've got to block there. But I can't really get my queen back now, so I could be in trouble here, could be lost here. Let's just see how we do. I'm wondering whether to actually put the bishop there. Try and trade the bishops and plant the knight in the middle. Oops. I cannot draw arrows at all. Here he goes back, hits the queen. So what do I do? If I go here, hit this pawn. Because his queen's tied down guarding the mate threat. So he can't just play a queen up because of the threat. So I'll grab that. Now bishop up is tempting. Yeah, I'm going to play a bishop up and look to trade the bishop. Now trade the knight if I can. Okay, he's going to get a pawn, but I'm going to get developed. So do I trade? So across, across, check. And I can get two rooks for the queen, right? Whatever you do, you must not pre-move there. But double them up to make sure you can't blunder one of them in a silly cataclysmic way. And just calmly drop back and pawn up, I think. Pawn up allows him to get queen in, maybe, though. Hmm. I think I need it, though, to guard this. So, king up.
I'm preparing pawn up if I can here to stop the king escaping. And then rook right up. Can he get in there? Well, he has. All I'm concerned about is him getting the queen here now. Um, go up at the pawn. Excellent, very good start, very good. Could easily have gone either way of that game. <coughs> right, twenty twenty one, good luck. I'm just trying to stick to basic principles, just try and develop your pieces, move some pawns. He goes very attacking. Okay, I'll take there as well. Take the bishop. Okay, I'll just develop. I'm trying to keep the bishop outside the pawn chain if I can. And then develop the other bishop. I might even go to e7, it could be dangerous this. Let's just go here to guard the knight, look to castle. Because this push is certain to come at some point soon. Maybe bishop up and down is actually fairly sensible, but I'm just going to castle. Yeah, bishop up and down might be playable here. Or maybe even just plant the knight immediately. Plays up, so I'm just going to plant the knight there. He plays knight forward. What's he looking at there? I don't see what he's trying to do. Does he just tempt me forward and then maybe knight back? Yeah, it might be just all he wants, but I think that's fine. So I can push up again. I think I'll take and then push. Whether it's a mistake to push like this, we'll find out shortly, but maybe trade the bishop and then try and redirect the knight here, I guess. Actually, maybe bishop up first, just to try and keep an eye on this diagonal, and then queen up. Okay, queen up, not now. I can move the knight, or maybe I can push, or I can drop the knight this way. Pawn up, yeah, I don't like the idea of pushing there, so I'm going to drop back and maybe go into the middle here. If I do, he comes this way, so off of the queen trade. He goes back, so I could always take. I think I will actually. Or does he go with queen or pawn? He goes with queen, so I'll trade. So hit the bishop, be on a light square, then tr maybe plant the knight. It's going to be difficult to create anything now, though. Yeah, that's a good move. Okay, I'll just play a holding move. It's going to be difficult to create too much here now. Let's play a king up and maybe pawn up or king up. There's got to be a way to go after this, so how do I move my knight? I can maybe drop back and look to go this way. Oh, he plays a cross with a pin. Okay, I missed that. I can break the pin, he just takes. So I'm going to have to take. So I could have made a bit of a blunder here, allowed him to get rook in. Maybe I can defend, but I'm completely in a negative position if he trades here. Otherwise, I'm just going to plant the knight back. So rook across, I guess. 
So what do I do now? What do we do? I'm going to play up. I don't think he'll take it, but I'm just going to try and bring my king up. Now, do I want him to push there? I'm going to push. Oh, see, I'm trying to bring the king in over. Whether it's good or bad technique, I've not got a clue. Now if he takes, I can maybe take in the middle and take a risk. Again, it could be very bad. Take, take, he comes in. He does take, so I'm going to break the chain. Just try and do something different, so he'll probably push up at some point. So I've then got a choice, king this way or king back. I'll probably go back here. And now I think I might take a chance. Rook up and across. Looks good. If he takes, I get check and take, and I drive his king back. So I still support my pawn, but his king's gone further back. So now maybe I can come in. Pawn up, he's got rook across. That's no good. Hmm. Let's just play king up and maybe check. Again, I'm taking a monster risk here. I'm going to try and grab some pawns and then sack the rook. Now he's got no check, which is important there, so I should be winning due to the clock. Yeah, it's a good win. Excellent. So two wins out of two. Always difficult. Now two to eight, nine. Good luck. That's obviously a big step up in rating at my level. What do I want to play? d5 is standard. Okay, let's go up. Mm -hmm. Actually, let's go up. I think pawn up is okay, then bishop up. Ooh. No, knight up doesn't do anything there. Let's just castle. Knight up. I'm going to put the rook on a dark square and maybe try and advance. Get the bishop up. Okay, I've blundered a pawn here. That's not so clever. So what about giving the exchange away? Hmm. No, that's not going to be any good. Okay, I've blundered another tactic. He can gain a pawn and win the bishop. I might as well let him take that. There's not really any way I can stop that. You can see a difference straight away, can you? When you play those slightly high rated opponents, they just miss they don't they don't miss the tactics in the same way that you do just that little bit lower down. So I've got to shift the knight somewhere, so hmm, actually Pawn up first so the king has got a square, then look to play a knight up. So there's another pawn hanging. So knight up. He's playing very, very well, isn't he? You can see a big increase in the quality here compared to what I've just had. So knight over. Okay, check. So I guess that's forced. So now what do we do? What do we do? It's it's probably close to resignable already, this. If not actually resignable. I can't really afford to leave there, but completely tied down, no moves for the knight. Let's push up. Trying to leave the knight a couple of squares here. Actually, let's go back and hit the rook. Okay, I definitely can't afford to trade, even at the expense of letting him push the pawns. Let's just play up. Oh, see, he's got a knight check, I have seen that. 
Can I up? Yeah, this is just straight lost, isn't it? Check and gain one pawn, but unless I can sack the knight for the other pawn, it's hopeless, and I don't even think that would be any good. I mean, I'm still an, a pawn down here, plus a piece down. Not good. So I can take the, but I'm not going to win any other material. I guess rook across. Let's push the pawn. Okay, takes. Check. Okay. Yeah, I'm just kind of in zugzwang, aren't I? I don't really have any moves. Yeah, just get on with the next one. It's an arena, just get on with the next game. If you lost, there's no point sat there wasting time. <coughs> right, 1943, good luck. E3, C4. Well, let's go B3. Okay. I think I'm just going to go D3 there, develop the knight. Now, do I pay, bring a pawn in over? I think I will. It might prove to be a mistake. Comes forward, so it gives me a chance to develop the pawn. Okay, so I can trade. Now we can take either piece. So he goes with the bishop. So I support the bishop, get the queen off this file. Where do we go? Go here. And at some point, it might be nice to try and push. So I can push now, I can take, I can not really ignore it, so I think I'll take. Okay, I can actually take with a temple there because I'm hitting the queen. So queen, let's go with the rook, just to keep trying to guard these two. Okay, I'm going to double up and go after this. Just try and trade and simplify things. He can probably get away with taking now he does. Okay. Is rook up a move? Rook up looks to be a move. He can't take the queen because there's a back rank mate. Let's play up. I'm threatening a checkmate. So he can't just grab the queen. And I don't see how the queen supports the rook. Maybe you can just play rook back. And then if I take, king takes. Yeah, so he's had to give up his queen there. So I can just check and grab the queen. And that's cleanly winning. Excellent. Very easy to miss that one. It Very easy to miss that. <coughs> wow, 22 points already. That's very impressive from the leaders up there. I'm just not fast enough to compete with the players at the top. You see, it's very rare that I ever win games quickly. I can lose games quickly, but I rarely win quickly. 197, good luck. Okay. Has he got a lot of games there? He's got a lot of games, so it's probably a legit rating. Just a fast player if he's going berserk. Let's just play up. Okay, just drop back. So he plays rook across. Okay, I guess I'll play a5. Maybe a4. Okay. Just going to get the rook off that diagonal there, so I. I was potentially play up. I'm going to play up and try and remove that bishop. He grabs the pawn, so try and get rid of that bishop. Now, 
get a tempo on the knight, because I'm going to play h6 in any event. Goes back, no, I don't mind trading there, because he's doubled his pawns. So get the queen up and bring the knight to this side, I think. Just swing it over here. So there's potentially a check threat if I need it. So check. I don't think I'm gaining out from it. So for now I'll just calmly drop back. If he pushes I'll take, he goes back. Okay, let's play up just to try and help guard this. Right, so now I'll take. So I've got an option to take. Hmm. My gut feeling is not to. I'm going to go across. Right, so hit the pawn and then come back this way. So hit this pawn. He comes up, so he gives the pawn up, so it must be right to take it, so I will. So he's still got this monster threat coming. Now I can maybe push up here, takes, takes, and that might be another pawn. One of them is going to be loose here, so which do I want? Probably the one in the middle, I think, because it's a passed pawn. Yeah, let's go with that one. And now I need to try and get my rook active if I can. Not actually too sure how I'm going to do that yet. Let's go across and up. Okay, he trades his past pawn. Um, let's hit the bishop with a threat to come up here. Depending on where he goes. Oh, he's just given me a bishop. He's just had a lapse in concentration there, I think. Here. So knight up, if he takes I've got knight up threatening checkmate, so there's a checkmate threat, and the king can't actually escape, he just missed it, if he hadn't have gone berserk you never know, that was the berserk mode that did that, right 2017 good luck. Yeah just try and keep it simple straightforward, it's all I ever do in openings. Goes for an attacking line. Okay, I'll vary what I was going to do then. Mm. Let's hit the knight. Right, I'm going to actually try and trade off that bishop that he's got. Could be very dangerous later in the game. Right, so trade that one. Now up and try and trade this bishop. Okay, so that's been gotten rid of. Now what? Now what? Let's just develop the queen. Actually, maybe rook across is sensible here. The pawn's going to push at some point. But let's develop the knight. Okay, so I'll look to trade off that knight. He pushes, okay. So put the queen on a very natural attacking square, bring the other rook across. Okay, he goes forward. I think I'm just going to ignore that. Could be a mistake, but I want to go on an attack if I can. Not sure how though. Yeah, he's going all in. Let's play a rook up. Idea now, of course, is to move the knight and bring the rook across. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Let's bring the knight back. And now there is a threat of rook across. Yeah, he goes back, so he's going to bring knight over. So rook across and h4. Then he's going to play f5, I guess. Could be interesting. Might as well play it. If I lose the pawn, I lose the pawn. It shouldn't cause me too much harm. Actually, he can't play f5, can he? Because he hangs the knight. So h5 is a threat. He can. What can he do? He pushes up. So I'll take it. 
So now queen back and then h5 are still a threat. Queen up is a threat. Is rook takes a threat? Takes, takes. Knight up. Maybe not quite. Maybe not quite. Hold on. Yeah, what's wrong with knight up and knight up? I'll just try and come in this way. Players knight up. So I've still got knight forward here. The checkmate threat. Okay, he goes back, but can I take it? Take, take. Knight takes. I think he gets away with it. But maybe I've got knight takes. And then queen takes. Knight up. Okay. That's a free knight, right? I can take it anywhere. Now, do I trade? I think I should. Grab the pawn. Obviously, I can't protect both of these, but if I can protect this chain, it's probably good. But I'm, I'm going to go up here, assuming he comes down. Okay, go after this pawn. He's going to come here and go after this, but... Uh, yeah, let's grab. Right, that threatens mate in two, so he has to deal with the threat. <coughs> okay, he's dealt with it in a way. I can grab the pawn. And I think I can push... Actually... He's threatening this, but I can take, so I think this is what I need. Obviously, you can grab that pawn, I can push again. If he takes, I can take, he goes across. So I'm just threatening to checkmate. And then checkmate next move. Excellent, another good win. So what's that? Five wins out of six, very good. See, I'm still only 47th despite 5 out of 6, but there is 11, 1200 players in nearly. I've got 12 points and the leaders have got, what, 26. You can see I'm never ever going to get anywhere near a top finish in one of these. I'm just simply too slow. Yeah, if you see 3s and 5s, it means the players are going berserk. You won't see me going berserk. Right, 1690, good luck. Okay, see so again, you can see he's doing very well. How many games? 65. He's a fairly new account, so he could be underrated here. So it could be a player with a much better rating than what you think. He's in 74th place, so he's doing well. So just keep it sensible. Um, what? Let's play a 3 and queen up. Let's just drop back. Player's knight up, so I can take and it brings him a pawn over. Hmm, I think I will just play a queen up and maybe threaten to grab the pawn. Now is it worth doing? Takes, takes, takes. He's got no bishop up, but I've got nothing else to attack with. But is there a discovery on the knight? Hmm. I'm going to play a b4 while I just hold off on that idea for now. He might play this one and trap my bishop. That would be annoying if I blundered that. Or maybe I can go there. G5, okay, players up. Where do I go? Where do we go? Actually, let's just drop back. I think I'm going to play the sack because I'm kind of going into a bit of trouble this game. I could easily lose this one. Okay. That might tempt pawn forward, which runs into knight up. You never know. Yeah, that's what he's done. So knight up. If he takes, I take the rook. He's still got the pawn for the exchange though, so it's still a decent position for him, but his knight is being hit. Yeah. Do I still go for that sack? I don't think I've got enough pieces to mate with, so probably not. Yeah, bishop up so I can take one and he takes my bishop. Okay, so I might as well just drop that back. 
Now, how do I deal with this? This is a problem. A problem, problem, problem. Um, hold on. Maybe I can go there, and if he takes, I grab the bishop. But then he gets another pawn. I'm going to risk this. He might forget the fact that his bishop hangs. He doesn't. He does well. So now I'm back to this idea. Take, take, take. F4. It feels seriously dubious, doesn't it, though? Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to take and play f4, I think. Right, f5, try and keep the bishop boxed. Okay, just challenges it. Now can I grab the pawn? Take, take, I think I can grab the pawn. If he takes, I take back. He's playing extremely well though. I'm, I'm, I'm certain he's a stronger player than 16-9. He's playing very, very well. So what do I do? Bishop in. So bishop in must be a logical move. Can I play up and just threaten checkmate? So if I play up, he has to play across. Is that winning? Ah, I'm creating a double threat here. There'll be two threats if he misses it. F6 is the threat. <coughs> yeah, he's missed it. So I'm threatening checkmate. I'm also threatening to grab the bishop. Yeah, he just missed it there. But you can tell he's a stronger player than his rating. He'll do pretty well. I think his rating will rise up there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 out of 7. Oh, very, very good. Yeah, you can just tell that player is going to be, what, 18, 1900 fairly quickly. He did very, very well. Right, 21, 42. Good luck. Now, this time I'm going to switch to the Karakhan, which is what I normally play. It doesn't mean I'm that good at it, but it's what I normally play. Okay, let's play up. Maybe a mistake this because it allows e6, so maybe it's not such a good line to go for. Hmm. It's definitely not a good line to go for, I can guarantee that. Yeah, how do I get something here? How do I get something there? One, two, three, that's what I need. Can't play it right now though. He should just play e6 and blast it open, shouldn't he, even if he gives up a pawn. Hmm. Maybe I can grab the pawn in the middle. Maybe, yeah, he goes for a really rock-solid position. So I'm going to push so that I can try and bring the knight up. Or maybe... Well, now I'm coming around and getting in. If I get a knight in, I'll feel happy. He offers to trade it. Hmm. That's probably okay, but is it? Yeah, otherwise he gets his knight in, so I think I'm kind of forced there. Let's just play rook across. Now, queen over, rook over maybe. I wouldn't recommend you play the Karakhan like this. I've not played a great line here. I've just played something that I don't normally play. I don't know the theory in it. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend this. And what on earth do I do with me knight? What on earth do I do with it? Okay, he plays up, so I've got to play rook across the logical move. He wants to keep control of the file, which again is very logical. So rook up. Get behind. And again, what on earth do I do with the knight? I can go here, then what? Well, it's kind of forced, isn't it? I think it's forced. If I go there, it's just dead weight completely. But if I don't, then... Hmm. Yeah, I can't go there because then he gets a pin. Hold on, what's wrong with bishop down and across? Okay, he offers the trade. I'm 
I'm going to obviously go after these pawns if I can. So he's gone after my pawn. Can't actually defend it, so he's done well finding that. But if he plays bishop back, I've got knight across. So he might go for a gamble here and trade. Okay, so I've got to go across it, the bishop. Now I'm going to push. Hold on. Take. Hit the pawn. If he goes up, I can go this way, I think. Oh, he's hitting the knight, though. Mind you, I can go up with tempo to hit the bishop. Now this way to hit the pawn. Hmm. He's done extremely well, hasn't he? Look at that. What can I do? I've got to take. So he's going to get another one. definitely losing this. Let's just support this structure. Now can I afford to take? Can I afford not to take? I don't think I can. Yeah, I've just got a gamble here, don't I? Okay, a draw. That's actually a very good result for me there. I was completely lost, so a very good result. So six wins, one draw and one loss. That's very, very good. <coughs> I wonder if I'll get another game of Crusher. I lost to him in Bullet the other day. Uh, 22.59, good luck. Let's just again play g3 just for something different because I don't normally. Mm, let's go d4 knight up. Okay, can I risk going forward? Have I blundered something already? Probably. Hmm, probably, probably, probably. Let's go forward. I'm sure I've blundered something here, it just feels like a terrible position. So I must have blundered a tactic somewhere. I think he's looking at a move like this. Does it work? I'm not sure. I don't think so. It just feels like I've blundered into a poor position though. Okay, so pawn up. Bishop down is a natural move. He's played rook up. So again, has he given me... No, knight takes, he just takes with a pawn. Knight over, he takes the rook. So I guess pawn up and maybe knight back. Hmm, man, he's still got potentially bishop down. Hmm, sometimes you just know you've walked into a position which doesn't feel right, and that's what it feels like here. 
Okay, I tried that bishop and knight up. So at least I'm hitting the rook there. Now knight up and knight up looks sensible, but yeah, he's got his queen in. Mm. Let's offer the queen trade. Have I blundered rook takes so. or? Yeah, I've blundered rook takes, I'll lose a piece there. If I take the queen, he takes the rook. Basic simple tactic. So rook takes knight just wins on the spot. Terrible mistake. Okay, didn't see it. He's still winning, but he just missed that little tactic. Let's grab the pawn. Another one. Oh, I can fork the two pieces and get rid of one of them there. That's useful. I'm hitting this pawn as well. It might be actually better to take the pawn. Hmm. I don't know. I'm assuming he's going to play rook across. He doesn't have to, though, because the knight supports the bishop. Do I grab the pawn? Hmm. Let's see what he does. He takes the rook. So I've got to take the rook, right? Okay, I'm tempted to offer a draw there. I'll offer him a draw. It's a fairly sensible position. He doesn't want it. Fair enough, I won't offer it a second time. Okay. Just going to play a knight out wide, I think. Try and create a passed pawn. And I guess king up. Now, do I take a punt and go forward? Probably risky. I can put the knight back. I can play a pawn up. Yeah, I'm just going to play a pawn up. Okay, he pushes. Oh, he's blundered a piece. Wow. And he can't even protect it. It's just a straight blunder. He hasn't blundered out else, has he? No, I'll take. This should be winning, but you still have to convert at my level, of course. Um, if I go there, take, take, takes with check. Um, actually, let's take. Yeah, it's still far from winning this, far from winning. Surely I'm going to win the knight, though. But if I lose my other pawn, I can't actually win. I'm going to lose this one. He's worked it out very well, hasn't he? Push, trade, trade. I have to do this, but if that pawn goes, I can't win, I don't think. So try and fix this. Right, now I might be winning. Yeah, now I should be winning because I'm going to get the other pawn. No point just giving that away. If he takes a knight, you just push. Excellent. Very good win, very good. How many games is that? Nine. I said I was going to play at least ten. Touchwood money doesn't feel too bad today. 2018, good luck. Okay, let's play a Karakhan again. And I'll go with Queen takes. It's not the most precise move. C takes is the most regular move. Sometimes it's good to play different lines just for variety, just for something a little bit different. Okay, check and then Queen back. I'll just play six. I don't have to drop back in Im immediately. Right now, I should. Again, I don't really want to grab this pawn because it's probably a poison pawn getting the queen trapped. I think he knows that. So I'll just play a bishop up. I'm not going to go for that pawn. So he pushes the queen back. Logical. 
I'm just trying to castle, it's all I'm looking for, then maybe bishop back at the right moment, knight up, just simple logical moves. Okay, bishop up again, very logical. And where do I want the queen? Hmm. I have to go there, if I go here I blunder knight in. Yeah, he's played that anyway. So we're just hitting the bishop there. Hold on, let's play knight up and hit the knight. Knight goes back. So is he looking at coming here? If I play bishop up, I'm not really gaining anything. So I'm actually going to hit the knight there. See if he comes in, I'll just take if he does. And then rock across. I've given him a dangerous pawn structure though, so I'm taking a risk. Mm, it feels right to take there. Whether it is right is another matter. Knight up, bishop up, knight up. And he's got an attack here. Maybe f6 is playable. Yeah, I'm going to play it. Yeah, that's what he's gone for. So knight up and f6 is what I'm looking at. Okay, and it could be a pile of garbage, of course. So it comes back in. So let's play a queen up and across. Hmm. If I play up, he gets the bishop back, so that can't be good. I'm going to try and break forward, because I don't see anything else to do. Maybe queen across and queen up is sensible, but... Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, let's play queen across. <coughs> wow, he pushes up. I didn't expect that. So I'm just going to trade. Yeah, if he takes, he takes to the check. So I'll have to take. Okay, so I was looking at knight up. I'm not sure it's playable. Rook up looks playable. Queen up looks playable. Queen up here is playable. To trade, and I've probably got a solid position. Let's go this way. Just try and stay sensible, solid. You can see I'm down on the clock, so it's a struggle here. He goes back and defends the rook, so I've got rook check. Takes, takes, then he comes in, that's no good. Oh, have I got knight up there? Where does this rook go? Knight up. I don't actually know. But I'm going to make sure the king's got a square here, then I'll worry about what to do. But you see, I'm 30 seconds down, so... Not going too brilliant here, but check is a threat now. Takes, takes, or still rook up, takes, takes... Ah, he gets queen check at the end and grabs a pawn. Hmm. I'm going to play knight down and see if I can get rid of that bishop. I don't think he'll take it, but you never know. But you see, I'm so far down on the clock, so I just go back. I might put queen in the middle if he doesn't. Okay, he allows me to get queen in the middle. But maybe I can edge forward now. Pressure on this pawn. Yeah, let's go forward. Pawn up I just take. Right, king up and queen back. Mm. Let's push up. Oh, I blundered the queen. I just didn't see it. What on earth have I done? I just didn't see it. Oh my goodness. That's a terrible lapse in concentration. just wasn't paying attention. Just simply not paying attention. Just didn't see it. Yeah, just give him that. 
That was terrible. My first real lapse all night. At least it's taken 10 games, so that's not too bad. So I've got 20 points, barely half of the lead. It's very, very well done for those players. It's always impressive when players go unbeaten. Right, 2 do 4 2, good luck. Let's try and remove that defending bishop. Okay, players up. I'm just going to play it slowly and steadily. Okay, I'm just going to trade and play e3 and bishop up. Okay, I'll trade. I think h3 is probably sensible, even if I castle here, but, hmm, is it? Let's just castle. Right, I'm going to play up with an idea to bring the knight in. Whether it's any good is another matter, of course. If I take, does he go with the pawn? Is that what he's looking at? Okay, I'm not going to take. I'm going to put the bishop there. Maybe h3. But again, he might actually just leave it there. He might deliberately leave it. So if I take, I have to then take. I think I kind of have to do this. Okay, he takes it. So if I drop back, am I just lost? If I drop back, queen up is a threat. No, I just take, don't I? Queen up, I can just take. Maybe he might take here in sack. Maybe it works. Maybe I'm missing something. He might do. Oh my knee, it's still a little bit sore. I tend to suffer more once I actually finish and I get up and move around. It's not too bad while I'm sat here touch wood. Now I don't really want to play h3 and give him sack ideas. But I don't really see what else to do. Mm. I'm looking at c4, pawn up trade but he gets his queen in. Let's play up so I'm threatening to push and discover on the rook. Okay, I'm still discovering on the rook. Okay, plays up. So I guess I take. He actually takes with a rook, okay. Now where do I want the knight to go? My gut feeling is to be able lining up to come in over. I'm worried about playing h3 because he might just play like this. But if I don't, I could be just in real trouble anyway. Hmm. Knight up, knight across. Actually, yeah. Knight up here, hit the pawn with a view to coming back this way, maybe. Or is he looking at just a move like this? Does it actually work? Have I missed something? It's what he's looking at. It's what he's done. Oh my goodness, I've just missed it, haven't I? I don't see a defence. Okay, it's a mate in one threat, that's the only move, and he's just got a simple win. I don't see how to stop it. Knight down and in would be the only move, and it doesn't work. Queen down, queen up maybe. Yeah, he's going the sensible way in. Stops me from challenging. That's undefendable, isn't it? Undefendable. Yeah, just... I just missed the threat there, so just get on with the next game. You don't beat yourself up when you lose at this level. Otherwise, you just tilt and you get beat by everybody. <coughs> right, 2016, good luck. I'm going to switch to E4 for this, and as you'll always hear me say, I've played very little E4 over the board, so I know pretty much hardly any theory whatsoever. 
Ooh, now this I certainly don't know. I'll take a knight d4, I think. Okay, allows me to pin the knight. Now, all I'm trying to do is get castled. But I say I'm playing this just purely for variety. I don't know any of the theory whatsoever. I think I can take next move, though. If he takes, the queen gets pinned, but can he maybe block it? I can still play up, right? So he goes with a pawn, so now I can grab the knight. Now how do I wangle this? I think queen up to pressure the pawn, pressure the pawn. Maybe knight up, maybe bishop up first is sensible so you can't push it. So he's offered the trade, so rook takes, knight takes, queen takes. Hmm. I'm just going to drop back there. I don't want to undouble his pawns. So I'll play up. Look to get rid of that dangerous bishop. Okay, he lets me take that, so that feels good. Knight up threatens to take, but... See, this is what I mean about not knowing the theory in these lines. I really do not know this genuinely. Have I got knight over, but he gets queen across, this is open. Kinda feels forced though, I'm gonna put the rook back here. Um, I didn't expect that. Let's play queen over to guard this move. But if I take, he's got queen check, but I don't see the mate. Okay. So knight in, and if he kicks the knight, I don't have a lot, so let's centralize the rook. But you can see, once you get out of theory, chess gets quite difficult. And clearly I can't take there, I've got to push, I should not have played this. Okay, that's a check, there's pressure on the knight. Can I take? I doubt it. Let's look for the queen trade. idea is to take and then play a knight in and use it as a blockade. <coughs> and this time it would be good to get rid of the queen, I think. Okay, he's pushed the pawn. There's got to be something here. I can't move the queen, it's pinned. If I take, he takes the rook, does he? So I guess I've got to play up, right? Okay, just moves across. Not really too worried about a pawn. Now can I play up? Knight down. Oh, he's threatening knight down. Hmm. Let's play queen across. I desperately need to get rid of this queen. Yeah, this is what happens when you experiment and you just think, well, I'm just going to play something just for variety, but without being prepared for it. Obviously, queen check he's got, and then I'd have to trade. So back again. Maybe I've got queen down if he goes back, but it's very, very risky. He has gone back. Hold on. He's getting to a point where he's not going to be able to run his queen away at some point. Yeah, let's go here this time. I'm hoping to line up a take at some point. Right, knight in and try and bring it across. I've given him every opportunity to for a simple draw, of course. So he's had a straight easy draw. He's maybe looking at queen in and a mate threat. Okay, that's a blockade with a option to trade the queen. But now I've got the blockade and his pawn's not guarded, so you can try and kick the knight. Hmm. I don't think I can actually. Yeah, and let's offer that queen trade. 
Oh, I've missed it. I said he was looking for that, and then I just forgot about it. Wow. I'd seen it the move before and said it. that's what he's looking for and just forgot. Okay, well that's never very good to lose three games in a row. That is really, really poor. My opponents have all played well, to be fair, but I shouldn't lose three in a row. And what points have I got? I've got 20 in the leads are on 52, so you can see I'll never get anywhere. Right, 1895, good luck. See, 1400 games, so legit rating. And you can see you get a counter there. I think it's 15 or 20 seconds you get to make your first move. Some players do wait right at the very last split second. No idea why. Right, I'm going to play another Karakhan. So we have the advanced variation again. I think you play H5 against that if I remember. I think it's H4, H5. Most of the time you play H6. But there is the odd variation where you play H5. Um, I'm going to offer the trade of bishops there. Hmm. This could be risky, but I'm going to take... I'm going to play knight up, just to try and stop him pushing here. Then it makes it easier to play six. Okay, oh, is he going queenside? He might be going queenside. Let's just see if he goes queenside and push up if he does. Plays knight in. Okay, I'm going to play c5. If he takes, I'll probably go this way. He has indeed, so I'll take. I'm going to try and line up sacking the knight for sacking the rook for the knight at some point. It's quite common, mainly in the Sicilian, I guess, but it's a similar position. So he plays up. See, I don't want to take just yet. I'm going to risk castling there, but I'm aware this is playable. Ooh, what have I missed here? What on earth have I missed here? I'm going to have to take. It's too dangerous not to. Ooh, he's blundered a check there. Gets rid of the queen. Okay. If I move the knight, he's got a check. So if I plant the knight here, I stop him playing g4 and I cover this square. Right, I hit the pawn, but I also hit the knight here. Yeah, he just missed that I was hitting the knight. So that should be good enough. Very tricky position, or very tricky position. He played pretty well there, well done. <coughs> so that's eight wins, just one draws it, and four losses. Well, that's very, very good at my level. 26 minutes to go. I'm going to try and play the whole event today. So my knee is feeling better than it was, so hopefully it's on the mend. Right, two, two, three, five. Okay. okay, another one going berserk and clearly plays at this level. I'll see. Can play quickly. I mean, I have rated slightly above that in the past, about six months ago, but I'm certainly not as fast as most players at that level. Put the knight back. Let's play a queen up. Actually, let's play up again. Right now, I'll play it back. I'm going to risk pushing the pawn up here. Oops, I meant to move the bishop there, not the queen. Yeah, let's hit that bishop. I'm not sure I can actually play this without blundering something. So he plays knight forward, so he's hitting the pawn, so I guess rook across. 
I mustn't forget that my knight is on the fringes here, so hmm, let's play a knight up and look to trade that knight. Okay, now I'll look to trade it this way. Okay, now I'll look to push here. Can I still push? I'm not sure I can. I'm going to play up. Now, I can either push up or I can knight up. I'm going to play knight up. Okay, he's traded, so can I plant the bishop? I can. I'm going to try and pressure that pawn, of course. So what happens if I push up there? If he takes, I take the rook. If he pushes, I take, he takes... And I take right. I think I can play this. I can't attack. Yeah, my gut feeling is to try and come in here. Okay, I see the threat there. E5. Let's just drop back. Knight in, hit the pawn. Ooh, that gives me a check, right? I'm actually looking to attack here. Or up with a discovery. It's a queen or the pawn up. Takes up. Yeah, I don't want to put the queen right out of the game. I might have actually given him an attack here though, which is very unfortunate. Excellent, did it, did it, purely because he went berserk. Only reason I won that was because he went berserk, but a win's a win. <coughs> so 68 out of nearly 2,000 players at my level, it's very, very good. Right, 2011, good luck. I don't think I'm going to play four again. It's just not my type of game, really. Now e6, hmm. maybe I should switch to e4, but I think I'll play c4. Yeah, play the same on this side. Okay, I'd best push there. So F5 we know is coming. Now, do we do much about it? I'm going to play first of all Rook across. And just pawn up. And I think I'm going to play Knight up. So I'll play that. Oh my knee. Oh, touch wood like I said it touch wood like I said it's still not as bad as it was. So can I break? Takes, takes. I think I can. I'm gonna play it. <coughs> now he does push, so maybe I can take the knight first. Drop back and look to push and try and trade something else. Okay, have I blundered? It looks like I have. Although, can I take? Knight check and knight check are both covered. If he takes a knight, I take his knight. And I'm threatening to take the bishop with a check. And if he moves the bishop, I take his knight. If he moves the knight, I take the bishop. Yes, I take. 
It's still a risky position, though. It's risky for both of us, this type of position. Is Kings fairly open? Okay, I've got to take right and check. And try and grab this pawn if I can. Which I can. So that puts me a clean pawn up, as long as that he doesn't have a tactic to win it immediately back. I don't think he'll trade bishops, but you never know. Let's just see. <coughs> Obviously, I'm hitting another pawn. If he plays down, I can just drop back, I guess. Then I think I'm safe to take the king. Okay, I can play across and hit both pawns. So he just resigns. He just fed up with the game. These things happen. <coughs> Everybody blunders in blitz and bullet and rapid. It's just a case of when and who against. And I've done very, very well here though. 15 games. 10 wins are drawn, 4 losses are exceptional at my level really against this level of field. Because I'm playing players well over 2,000. So 1948, good luck. I'll play a traditional Reti style this time, which is c4, then b4. There's a tactic here, there's a tactic here. After c5, what do you do? There is a tactic here. I think you play up and then this way. There's some sort of tactic rather like knight takes, I think. Obviously, and sacking a pawn there is quite common in the Reti. Just looking for rapid development. A knight up threatens bishop up. He sees it. I think it's still playable. If knight down, I think I've got knight across, and then he can't castle. Right, so now this pawn is loose, so I'll just develop the knight. I say it's quite common to lose a pawn in these lines, so... I'm going to offer that pawn, and now his king's in a bit of bother now. So, rook across to free up the knight. Don't think I really want to trade there. It's so easy to blunder though, but I'm threatening queen in here. He has to move a knight somewhere, where can he move it? The knight doesn't have any good squares, I'm threatening checkmate, he maybe has to go back. I think it's his only move, and then this knight is going to fall. So it looks very unpleasant there for black. <coughs> okay, I can just take the knight right. Knight is pinned. So he offers the queen trade now. I've got check or a trade. Check, he has to go over. But surely I'm well up, so just take, pin the knight. Threaten to blast through here. Looks very pleasant. So bishop up is a move. It's got to be right to bring the knight into the attack. Then bishop up, I think. All done, all done, all done. Bishop up, rook up. Knight down looks very strong. Alright, goes across the other way, fair enough. I'm going to push forward then. Right, threatening a discovered check. Maybe doesn't necessarily do anything. Yeah, all I've got to do here is not give him the second rank and blunder a checkmate. I say it all, though, it's not that easy. Ah, grab another pawn. Yeah, that's what he's going for, the checkmate. And I might have blundered it here. How the hell do I stop it? I don't think I can. Ah, I can play a pawn up, though, and this is covered. So I don't think he can actually checkmate. Let's just calmly drop the bishop back. Uh, 
As long as I don't blunder the back rank, I don't think he can actually checkmate me here. Not with his king over there. And now I'm going to push the pawn. Now I'm threatening to pin the rook. So it's just a case of time here. Yeah, pin the rook. Excellent, very good, isn't it? Very good. Right, I'm wondering whether to stop there. I've done extremely well here. How long is left? See, 32 points, but I can't really get any higher up. Oh, there's only 13 minutes left, and I play two more games. If I lose them, I lose them. I've done very, very well, but touch wood, my knee isn't quite so bad, so I think I can play out the whole of the event. Right, 2042, good luck. Okay, I'll play another Karakarn. Again, I'll go with the Queen. Hold on, yeah, Knight up. Against Knight up, I think Bishop takes is playable, but it gets very, very dicey after takes. Very dicey. Now Knight up, I'll pin with the Bishop. So he just castles, so I guess this knight up. I'll just bring the queen back to a natural square somewhere. Bishop up, threatening to take, so I can grab a pawn right. If he blocks in, I'll just take and get three pawns. So I drop back. Now, can I risk a blast? I don't think it actually mates. I think it's too risky. Knight over looks playable. Knight takes, pawn takes, bishop takes, pawn takes, discovered check. Hmm. That could be interesting, but just feels bad. I'm just going to castle. But now if he gets the open file, it could actually flip completely against me. But he's allowed the trade, though. That's what I wanted, so I'm pleased with that. Now I'm going to hit that bishop and try and get rid of that as well. Now, it feels right to bring the bishop back this way. Um, yeah, g6 and drop the bishop back. That's what I'm looking for. And he's allowed me to play it. So now I've just got to find a way to get active. Coordinate the pieces. And try not to blunder a silly checkmate. So I'm hitting the pawn. So hit the pawn. Okay. I'm still hitting the pawn, but he was threatening checkmate in one there. <coughs> he might look at a sacrifice. I think I can take back. He's played rook up. There's got to be something here. It just feels like there should be something here. But I'm not actually sure what... I'm going to play queen up and maybe all the way across and try and trade the queen. Right, so he's allowed queen across. So I'm looking at the trade. I'm also hitting the pawn again because he's blocked his defense. <coughs> Ooh, my knee. It's definitely feeling better, but it's definitely not recovered so it's still a little bit unpleasant okay it must be right to grab if the rook moves away then we can pin the queen okay there's got to be something here as well can't i just take the bishop there gain a bishop lose a queen gain a queen lose a rook no feels risky doesn't it so let's just play back and back if he pushes, I've probably got a counter push. Although, no, I can take the rook, can't I? I can take the rook first. Can I actually? Can I? Can I? I've got to leave the bishop where it is, so I'm going to take with the queen and hit the pawn. 
to grab the pawn. Now rook across. If the bishop moves, I'll take. Now, question is, can I take there? I don't think I can. I think I have to push. So I want rook up to plant it. Ooh. I don't think that's a good move. Surely I can take the rook. He's coming. So can't I take, take, back. I'm threatening to go forward and checkmate him now. There's a definite checkmate threat here. Right, now we pin the queen. Hold on, do nothing silly. That wins the bishop, excellent. Mm. Yeah, clearly there's no risk against me now other than the clock. Worth a try, I suppose. Right, I'm definitely going to stop there. I've had a terrific tournament here. You know, 36 points, 17th place. Maybe I can get slightly higher up. Maybe I can get further down. But I've had a terrific tournament here. So my knee is really beginning to work now. It's still not as bad as it was. But what is it? 17th place when I'm stopping with 8 minutes left. My rating has gone up a fair bit there. Average opponent 2047, a 20 to 81 performance from 17 games. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 wins, one draw, and just four losses. So, very, very good indeed at my level. That is very, very good performance. So, thank you very much to anyone who's seen this, and hopefully, I'll be back as normal tomorrow. Maybe, maybe the day after, but hopefully, tomorrow. So, thank you very much.